My name is Ian, and this is my very first video diary, and I'm the creator of Zed the Mouse, and I would like to say a big thank you to everybody that's taken a lot of interest and who has commented and loved Z. So this is going to be a video about how I'm making the very first episode of Z, which is called Chestnut Hall. Uh, I also have today later a, an interview for someone who's going to possibly be another animator. So that's really good, looking forward to that, but a bit nervous. So I'm just going to show you what I've been making. And I hope you enjoy the video. Now on the wall, I have a drawing of how the actual chestnut hall is going to look like in the grounds. So here we have a 1700 contact building, some nice doors and windows. And then on the right hand side of it, they've got like a building that's on there from 1800. It looks a bit like a jail really. I'll show you that in a little while. And then you've got the other side of the building, conservatory. Then you've got Dylan Z and Clara. Just go in a little bit more there. They look fantastic. And then you've got the actual gardens to the left. And you have a lovely, um, like a water feature, some benches. It has some lovely flowers and around that it's going to be lots of sand and then you've got to the left which is here you've got where I'm going to put sunflowers up the walls and there'll be like a gate there which will go to another part but you won't actually be able to go into it and then down here is special little um, design with nice hedges and a nice layout and then down here we've got the um, drawing for the actual hallway which is inside the hall now and Mr Frog is there that I've still got yet to actually make which is FIMO again um, so that's really good and then you've got the kitchen here which is quite nice these are all actually for um, part of the story so it's all written in and then you've got the library. Now this bit's really good because when the children go into the library, when they actually have a look around the whole of the place, they actually um, want to kind of like hang from the um, antlers, which is there, and they pull it forwards, and then the um, one of the bookcases swivels round, and as you can see here, it will then go down into an alley and down this part here which is quite good and they go down there and they have a look round and they actually find a treasure chest and then with that part they put it on this kind of boat thing with wheels go down this track and end up coming out the back of a hill so and um, bashing into uh, one of the garden walls which is quite funny actually so that's good for that and um, if I go down here I'll show you some of the furniture that I've got which is doll's house furniture which is nice and down here I've actually got Clara cat which is quite good and here she is the head's moving about and her feet are going up and down just kind of put her in that chair for a while that's good. Got some things for inside, china and food. Got some hedges and then down here I've got a round window which I'm going to cut out which is going to be at the top of the house. A road sign with moss on and it's actually covered on the back. The reason why I covered that on the back is because I couldn't draw the uh, number 30 on the back. Oops. <laughs> and then here, got the front of the hall and you've got the iron gates here which is quite good if I do a bigger bigger picture of that and the iron gates are actually made out of pieces of cylinder pieces of wood they've actually measured cut put together and these rings are actually uh, plastic shower rings that are painted black so that's quite effective and then I've got over here 
the conservatory, which is quite, which is quite nice. I think that's really good, and it only cost me nine pounds ninety-five. It was supposed to be forty pounds, but one of the windows had come out, so I just glued it back together again. And now here's the here's the water feature, and it's actually got crazy pavement around the back, around the side, I mean, and. Here's the actual thing itself, the packaging, which is quite good, which is actually Hornby Railway, so it was quite nice. And I've got some flowers, which are going to go against the wall. And then I've got these mushrooms that are quite good, and two little ponds. These are going to be for the walls, so that's good. Now I'm going to part, show you part of the building now. Let's have a look. Right, so this is the... This is the front of Chestnut Hall. Put that there, you can then see the actual doors themselves. So if I do that, I've still got to paint them yet, but it's quite nice and fancy, quite posh, you know. And then down here is that 18th century building. You got to pin yet yeah, got to um, stick the windows on. And some background scenery and some flooring with a staircase carpet, which is quite nice. Most of this is Dolls House stuff anyway, but it's really handy because it's actually the right size. And here's another building. If you didn't know what the reason why there's a window that's been blocked up, I found this out this year that the reason why buildings years ago had windows blocked up is because there was a window tax. And if you couldn't pay for your windows, then you had to get one or two um, bricked up. But I never knew that. It's true what they say, you learn something every day. And then here's another part of the building. There. This reminds me of Terror Hawks. Part of the scenery, that mansion, especially that piece, it does. And down here I've got Influences magazines. Here's a bit of a kind of a garden, which is quite good. And then I've got my German book with really, really nice old buildings in, which is quite good, I think. So here you are, you've got this really good old building and, you know, just looking at the brickwork, the windows, the structure and things like that. So that's actually been really quite handy. Yeah, they're really quite good actually. So, I'm trying to think of another building. Oh, here we go. There's. It looks like a water tower, doesn't it? But um, yeah, it's just good for research. Here I have a storyboard for the intro, which was on the promo. And this basically goes through different kind of, you know, angles and what's going to be in it, who's going to be in it, and also the order. So that's, um, that's really good. It's always good to do scamping. Um, it really helps to kind of get the picture. Here, I'm going to demonstrate on how to make a background drop. Now this is going to be a row of houses and I'm going to use um, really ordinary materials to kind of show you what you could possibly use. Now I'm going to use this for part of the animation film. So what we need first is we need the bricks for the building. So I'm going to put that one there and then I'm going to put this one this one here, there, like that. So now we need a roof. This is basically stuff from the painter's shop, which is kind of like you know, wallpaper material. But I found it quite, actually, quite useful to make to make um, roof tiles with. So put that on there, and then for the windows and doors, I've done this by by colours, which is quite interesting. So I've got that there, I've got that one there, and that one up there. 
And now the windows are just basically pieces of paper with just a rectangle drawn on by a fine line of pen. Just quite effective. So that is quite quite good. And I just do the same for the other houses. Black door. And then another one here and so on and just carry on the same colour behind the windows for the frame then you've got that one and then you've got a black a black door and then there's some of these there like that just quite quick make sure the spaces are the same in between and then I've got some chimneys, which is quite good. It's quite effective, isn't it, really? So that's nice. And then another, another couple. And then I've just cut out pieces of paper for the actual chim, chimney part, which is quite nice, I think. There, like that. Which is quite nice. And already it's looking like a row of old fashioned houses. Which is what I wanted to get, isn't it? The kind of the kind of feel. And that is quite nice. Like I say you can decorate it however you want to, change the the roof tiles, change the bricks and there we have it we have a row of houses which is quite good if you'd like to make a backdrop or any backdrop then these are some of the materials that you might need you might need um, brick wallpaper and it's up to you what colour, what design you, you want for what you want to do with and you'll need material for the roof tiles and different coloured card for the windows and doors and then you'll need something for a chimney and obviously you'll need a fine line of pen, a pair of scissors and a ruler and good luck if you decide to make anything and let me know how you get on because I would like to hear from you.